When I walk into a cafe, I see three common mistakes baristas are making all the time. Stick around, I'll tell you what they are. Hey guys, I'm Jimmy. Welcome back to the Artisti YouTube channel where we talk you through all things coffee. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to our channel, uh, like this video and hit the bell icon so you don't miss out on any of our future videos. So today I want to talk to you about the three common mistakes that I'm seeing in so many cafes all around the place. So number one, I'm still seeing people tapping their baskets with their tamp. Now this is why are you doing it? Why are you still doing it? It's doing so much damage, not only physically to your tamp, trashing your tamp, trashing your baskets and your group heads, but the biggest issue that we see is channeling. So if you haven't learned enough about channeling, go and watch our other video, we'll put the link in. Um, but what you're doing is you're damaging all of the preparation work that you've done. You're creating cracks through your puck, you're separating your puck from the edges, and that's where the water's gonna run through as quickly as possible. So you're gonna reduce the, your extraction times, you're going to reduce the quality of your extraction simply by tapping. So you've got to stop it. So number two, you've really got to stop reheating milk. So we all know what it's like when you go into a cafe and you see a heap of milk jugs and they've all got leftover milk in them. Basically, they're sitting within what is the Australian food standard of potentially between five and 60 degrees of that danger zone of temperature. So bacteria grows within that time. So it's just unsafe to have that type of heated milk sitting on your bench for starters. Get yourself a jug rinser so you can reduce the amount of milks, jugs that you even need. Um, watch our other video, we'll, we'll link below, which is about how to reduce your wastage and get better at your milk levels. Uh, because the biggest issue is just people just don't want to waste milk, but you're, it's detrimental to the flavor of your coffee most of all. So when you heat milk, the proteins harden, the, the air particles stick to those proteins, um, and you can't replicate that twice. Same as the sugars. The sugars will break down into smaller sugars and they will bring out some beautiful sweetness in that milk. But again, it's not gonna happen twice. So every time you top up cold milk on top of hot milk, you're just reducing the quality of the coffee that you're serving. And we just don't wanna do that. And lastly, the other thing I hate to see is this. It's leaving your group handles out of your machine to get cold. Coffee needs to be extracted at the right temperature and consistently the right temperature to maintain the flavor that you really want. So when you add water to your puck, if you have got cold handles, you're going to change the temperature that the water's going through. And that's going to change your extractions and therefore change your flavor. I'm all for taking your heads out, cleaning them, um, flushing your machine and making sure you're all prepared for next time. But just remember to put your group handles back up into your machine to keep them nice and hot. So they're my three pet hates when I walk into a cafe. What are your pet hates? Put them in the comments below. We might make another video, but we just love to hear uh, people's horror stories. So um, if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to our channel, hit, uh, like this video and hit the bell icon so you don't miss out on any future videos and I'll catch you next time. Thanks guys. Cheers, bye.